listen to a young girl who was saying that the Arab community here is totally very angry. So be very interested in this point at all. Yes, I want to much meaning and riches to offer humankind. You know, after some of these earthly adventures and no more, one can still find footprints of these red lights on the pavements of our contemporary lives. Good evening, you're welcome to the program Green Planet. about to the next paper at the African Center for Community and Development. We are next in this paper to introduce the young shoots at the Green Cradle Project, which is run by the organization as a means of enhancing sustainable development in Cameroon and Africa. We shall be planting the yellow pepper and the red pepper. Both yellow pepper from Cameroon and that which comes from Burkina Faso as well as red pepper which comes from the Caribbean and that which, which grows normally in Cameroon within this culturing media and when they shoot we shall transfer them into bulletin bags from where they shall be introduced at the project itself so I am with Valentine and you know of course by now he works with the African Center for Community and Development and we will be starting with red pepper and we have almost 15,000 seeds here. We shall be planting a good chunk of these seeds. And we believe that with the right conditions, it can really give us a good chunk of trees that we can use for our project. So, these are the paper samples of the seeds within the container which we are expecting to grow and to introduce at the Green Cradle Project. And Valentine, pepper is so important in the cooking of African meals. Uh, many people say pepper is becoming expensive in the market. Is that true? Perfect. Actually, now in the market, pepper has become most expensive. And as we know, you cannot cook without pepper here in Africa. There's nothing that you will do without using pepper. So, and for the fact that pepper is expensive in the market, we are trying to see how we can use another means to produce pepper here in Africa. And in a sustainable manner? Yes. So we are on our way now to introduce the pepper seeds. This is a form of surface planting or surface nurseries. Surface nursing. One of these culturing containers can take a good chunk of the pepper. After we do this, we shall water.
There we go, into the next. Increasing capacities and knowledge on such practices is what the African Center for Community and Development offers. And it is hoping to collaborative agenda to work with those users who are willing to empower communities and vulnerable subpopulations in achieving the right knowledge towards sustaining their livelihoods and maintaining their dietary preferences. A healthy population, as you know, is very vital as it denotes an active workforce which can contribute meaningfully to the gross domestic product of any country. And here is the sample of the red of the yellow pepper that we shall be planting. And we got five grams of these that we'll be planting. Hot pepper is very useful as many people who eat food stuff or meals like achu, huckleberry and so on usually burn it to supplement their, their soup as well as pepper soup uh, which is offered in many places including restaurants and hotels in Cameroon and Africa and the yellow pepper, most people think, must come from the northwest region of Cameroon. But we are trying to do something about introducing it in the southwest region of Cameroon. What is your impression about this? I know even though they say it must come from the northwest, but I strongly believe in what we are doing, we are going to produce yellow pepper in the southwest region, also in Cameroon. And I'm very happy and I know that uh, what we are doing going to be perfect and very nice so we shall go ahead now with introducing the seeds of the yellow pepper into this culturing media and this is yellow pepper yellow pepper And it's also hot pepper. It's found in places across Africa, including Burkina, Bamanda, and it is known to improve on the taste of many meals. So we are done with our four mini nurseries. And we shall be introducing water. These soils are generally very fertile. We are in an area that's got volcanic soils and with organic manure, we are really booming with those life mechanisms that facilitate growth. Growth for sustainable development is a vital element for long-term development of Africa, noted to be blessed with so many natural resources and now among the fastest growing areas of the world, if not the fastest. So now, after watering what we planted, 
we definitely have to cover our little nurseries with farm fronts so that stray fowls wouldn't come here to party. And there you go, that's the main reason why we have to cover the culture in the media with fun. When it's done like this, scattering is impossible with fowls. And there is ample spaces for sunlight to penetrate, while there's also the possibility of you watering when the soil is a bit dry. And also, there's also room for the young ones to find their way up on their first journey in life. It has been a reliable for people, places and events. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much. Delhi and go on, go gather, uh, destroy their food. also be very interested in this point at more than so.